Hello. Today we will be looking at Sound4j Teen and its ability to use AI to generate text to speech with a bunch of different voices. Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV and Sound4j Team Pro now has a bunch of AI voices. You can pick from quite a few and they also work in many languages and there is the ability to translate from one language to another so you can use this as a way to quickly get to other languages. So that's pretty useful. So how do you get to this? Where is this menu? So let's pretend that this is not here yet. We'll close this. So you're going to open it. It's not going to be there. The way you get to it is you go up to the view and then you need to have the Magics Hub, which is going to be where some of these extra features exist. So we're going to go to the Magics Hub. It is going to require you to log in in order for these things to work. So if you're not logged in, it won't work. And then there is a thing here for text to speech. So we'll go ahead, we'll grab this and we can begin to type whatever we wanted to say. So we could have it say SoundForge now has some really cool AI voices. And then you could generate it with the generate full audio or you could preview it and it will read out like the first few words or so, so you can get a vibe for what it's gonna be like. So right now we're on Davis Multilingual and it has the style empathetic. This one has multiple styles. Um, if we go to the beginning, you'll probably have like a huge list. You'll probably be on like the all languages list, which will have all these languages. Sometimes it can actually be kind of fun to have a, a model that's not meant to read English, try and do it. Um, but we can come in and I like to hit E to immediately jump to English or S if you're trying to get to Spanish, you could just keep tapping S till you see Spanish pop up. Um, so it can be a pretty handy way. Uh, that, that's There's not like a search box, but that works. So these are all the AIs that support English or all the voice models. And if you wanna filter them, you could go to voices that have multiple styles and this narrows it down considerably. And these can be just a bit more flexible and then there are also some lower quality ones, but it opens up a lot more. Uh, there's a few models that model children, um, like Carly here. The, one of the more interesting aspects of it is the ability to choose English from various parts of the world. So you can get different accents. This is what Natasha sounds like. SoundForge now has some really cool AI voices. So you can adjust the speed, maybe they've, some voices talk very slow. This was actually a, a fine pace, but say we want it to be a little bit faster. SoundForge now has some really cool AI voices. This is also great if you have like textbooks and you just want it to read faster than and faster than what the times two or times three, you want to go a bit quicker. You can do that here. We could bring the pitch down a little bit. SoundForge now has some really cool AI voices. And if you're a fan of Mr. Baller... Do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, there's some models for children. Do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? And right now, right, these are Australia. We could go over, we could look at like a UK model. Do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? Well, that one's actually pretty nice. Oh, and this one has styles too. We could get sad. Do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? That sounds pretty similar. Sometimes it will depend on the words that you give it. Sometimes there'll be a bigger difference. This one's Maisie. It's another kid one. Do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? Uh, let's go over for some of the U.S. ones. So this is Jacob. It's a U.S. model. Do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? And let's go for something with multiple styles. So if you don't see this, by the way, it does say like here you can see like 10 styles. But it's just kind of a lot to go through. So we could go for one with styles. Let's go, wow, this one has 16 styles. Holy cow. Uh, let's go for that one. So this is Aria. Oh, this is angry too. Do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? Hmm. Uh, here's chat. Do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? Let's go for terrified. Do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, here's whispering. Whispering typically isn't like whispering, uh, at least in most of the ones I've experimented with. Do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? It's kind of like soft, but it's not, it's not quite whispering. You know what I mean? Uh, so anyways, yeah, so, so some really cool things. And then you hit generate and it, it'll pop up down here as a window that you can then edit and do everything you would normally do with uh, SoundForge. 
Um, now you can also translate. So if we go over here and hit this little translation icon right here, uh, we could go from English to Spanish, for example. There you go. You know how to get to Bell's Canyon in Spanish. Let's go ahead and hear it. ¿Sabes cómo llegar a Bell's Canyon? And you'll notice it automatically switches the voice model to a Spanish voice model. You might go with something with uh, a couple different styles. There are Hola, English is soy Jorge de México. Hablo yeah. tu texto en español. Thank you. Um, yeah, if you click the little play icon, you can hear the voices. You could preview them without having to type something. Hola, soy Dalia de México. Hola, soy Álvaro de España. Hablo tu texto en español. So a couple notes about the translation. First, if you do translate this text, uh, undoing will not uh, like untranslate you. You have to go find the language and translate back. Uh, something that yeah, it's worth knowing about because maybe you want to copy your text if you t typed it up here to somewhere else just in case the translation back doesn't work out as good. Uh, the other thing you should know is this translate option down here does contain voices that there are no voice models for. Like say, for example, I want to take this to Tibetan. Uh, I will go to Tibetan and hit translate. It'll translate it. And I don't know any Tibetan, so I got no idea if this is right. But notice the voice model, model didn't change. That is because if you come up here and search for Tibetan, there is no Tibetan. There's, there's no voice model for that. So you're just kind of out of luck. And because I have translated this, control Z will not bring me back. Instead, I will have to go and translate from Tibetan. And there is like an automatic uh, dete detector. Where is Tibetan on here? There it is. Tibetan to English. Translate. Okay, do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? I don't know if it's like one-to-one -one or if it actually goes through a translation process. Uh, I've never had an issue going back, but if it does worry you, I would copy and paste it um, to make sure you get the exact same thing. Now let's go from English to some language that is in here. Uh, that I have no idea, like Arabic. I don't speak any Arabic. That's going to be nuts. So let's check that out. And it will automatically switch to a voice model that works for Arabic um, if you're translating to one that it like has a bank for. So go ahead, we'll hit translate. There you go. Who who knows? I don't know if this is right. And let's go ahead and listen. <laughs> There you go. So, so pretty cool option. So once you're done, say that you're happy with this result. Maybe you're just trying to get it to work uh, for another language. You're sending this, you're expanding, and you, maybe you're, you have a YouTube channel. You'd like to open it in multiple areas of the world. This could be an option for doing that. So let's go to generate full audio. So first it'll pop up here, just kind of like the preview. But then if you hit download, it does pop up in its own window. And it is something that you can now mess with. So let me show you a few more voices here real quick, because some of them are, are just cool just to hear. I was on a mission to find like the deepest voice. And sometimes the pitch down, it just produced some wild results. Do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? All right, let's pitch it down a little bit. Do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? I was trying, I was looking for a voice that would make that sound really, really crazy. Let's see if we can find one uh, that'll work out. Do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? That one was pretty good. You don't want to go all the way. Uh, this goes quite far. And actually, there's kind of, there's less of a difference once you go past like 30%. Like, it gets lower for sure. Do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? Like, that's 75. Here's 100. Do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? They're, they're pretty identical. I find 30 to usually be the sweet spot if you're going for like a deeper voice. Um, and it can, it can depend. Sometimes the accents do better. Do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? Do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? Do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? Yeah, see, I don't know what it is. It's like the formants in the voice on some of these other languages. Just, they do really well. Let's find another. Do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? See, that's, that's got some nice formants. Do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? Do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? Do you know how to get to Bell's Canyon? Anyways, you get the idea. Uh, it, it can be fun for some sound design purposes besides just sort of what you would think to use it for. Um, if you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.